Hello and a very warm welcome to Sora Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on accountancy. In case of any query, you can contact us on this number. We make tutorials not only on accountancy but on different topics. So if you want to have access to those tutorials, you can check in our website. So in today's tutorial, we will be dealing with earning capacity method. So the first question arises, this method is for what? Now this method is used for valuation of shares. Okay, this method is used for valuation of shares. So what is the logic behind it? Now, the primary... concern of the shrewd investors is that investors who intend to acquire the controlling interest in the company in the company actually base their valuation of shares not on the actual dividend but that is declared by the company but on the earning capacity of the company so if you are an investor who is very much concerned about his profit okay then you and if you know that the earning capacity of the company is much higher than the actual dividend declared by the company then you will ask the company to base your valuation of shares on the earning capacity of the company and not on the basis of the actual dividend okay so the formula for this can be given as so the earning capacity so the earning capacity method formula is given by rate of earning don't worry, I'll tell you what do we mean by rate of earning. By normal rate of profits, rate of return, let me make the correction, into paid up value of the shares. Okay? So then, your rate of earning is equal to total actual profit earned by capital employed in 200 or rate of earning can also be computed using the formula is equal to capitalization so capitalization factor into paid up value option so i hope 
this short tutorial on accountancy where we have discussed the earning capacity method was helpful if it was then please hit the like button subscribe to our channel share our videos and thank you so much for watching